I've always been passionately curious about how the universe works and how things work on a deeper level. And so from a very young age, I actually took my dad's drill apart to see how that worked and put it back together with a few spare parts. Hi, I'm Matt Dodds. I am the physics and biology teacher at Glen Innes High School, which is about 500 kilometers north of Sydney in New South Wales. Glen Innes High School has about 400 students from year seven through to year 12. And the students come from a, a variety of backgrounds. I'm really passionate about teaching in regional areas of Australia um, so that students you know, that aren't located in a big city can still get access to a quality education. Initially, when I arrived at Glen Innes High School, the physics numbers weren't potentially where they should be or could be. I teach data-driven experimental physics. One of the activities that I use for my senior physics class is a rocketry task where they work in groups, they build a rocket and they launch it. So getting the students involved, building things, making things together, trying to communicate to them a philosophy of failure is acceptable, failure is a part of learning. One of the assessments I do where they have to build a teaching tool for physics and then present that to the class. It empowers them and it lets them exhibit their creativity. The physics numbers at this school have dramatically increased. And one thing that I'm most proud of is the increase in the number of girls doing physics. Now we have the girls outnumber the boys three to one, which is pretty impressive. I'm extremely humbled to receive the Prime Minister's Prize for Excellence in Science Teaching in Secondary Schools. I think it's great recognition for the science teaching that happens not at just at Glen Innes High School, but all around Australia in regional and remote areas. I think my students will be really proud that I've received this prize. I tell my students that studying physics can open up lots of different career pathways. I tell them that physics teaches you how to think critically. And these pathways include engineering, dentistry, medicine, even economics. Just because we're in Glen Innes doesn't mean that any opportunities are off the table. They can do anything they want to do.